Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. Now, it's been absolutely ages since I played this game. Um, probably about three weeks. <laughs> uh, because I had to go uh, interrupt this LP and re-record one that, well, I thought was already done. But anyway, enough about that. Um, I believe when last we left off, we were helping Landon Ricketts. So, let's not buck that trend. Go see what he's got for us. The Mexican wagon train, eh? Hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, not yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> I've been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. Look at me now. Sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink. Let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts. Mr. Ricketts. Thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla. And a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. Uh, All right. Sounds like more fun. Thank you. Both of you. Well, looks like there's some men to be killing. Good. Let's head for Escalera. Escalera. Let's go. Me old buddy. Let's go murder some men. Because that's what we're good at. Murder. Of men. Come on, Midnight. Been a while. Let's ride. Hope you haven't got fat and lazy whilst I've been uh, busy. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. Yeah. I have to find these two men. With respect. How I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. Maybe there is. Still. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charm life. 
You see that? Prison wagons. That's one thing that bothers me, um, and I've noticed that a lot with this uh, playthrough. Um, characters are monologuing and giving you some nice background, but it does it's just there isn't enough space, <laughs> there isn't enough distance between you and the destination for them to get it all out. It's kind of annoying. That must be them. All it's right, annoying. yep, let's go kill some men. You point that stinky ass thing at me, boy. Ah, uh, it feels good to be back in the saddle. Oh, <laughs> and I'm still sick, but that's okay. Yeah, this one does start off a little bit rough. Completely moided. That's okay. All right, once more feeling, huh? Let's go for a different weapon. Maybe Henry Repeater. There we go. You get 12 rounds with this bad boy. Morning, boys. No. Oh, that guy survived. Yeah. It's not quite as accurate as I hoped. Yeah, it's not doing the damage with the other rifle. All right, that's fine. I was going to say, there's no way you survived that. Yeah, we're going to kill them all anyway, don't worry. We're gonna have to go for headshots close range, I reckon. All right, boys. Nasty bit of business here, but I hear you need some killing. There we go. Get out of my way, you stinking. Well, I should probably be careful what we say. Okay. Oof. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give now. Let's go take these guys to America, where apparently they're going to be safe. Apparently. So we have heard. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to be doing... Uh, a lot of work for the other guys as well. Uh, I don't like working for the other guys, I'm going to be honest. Working for the uh, Mexican military. Ardane or whatever the hell he's called. Um, not a fan at all. We, we're going to have to do some very, very nasty things with him. But that's okay. We're not exactly the nicest person in the world. But um, it certainly would have been cool, actually, uh, to have a bit of a choice here. It would have been nice to not have to work with this guy. Where are they gone? Oh, oh, we got no dead eye. That's bad. You're not dead. You are now, lad. All right, let's go. Not gonna worry about him. Whoa! Okay, should have been able to hit the uh, fire barrel there. And of course, there's a Gatling gun <laughs> in the water there because why not? But that's okay, we just blow past a lot of them. to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> you 
If you say so, Marston. If you say so. Mm-hmm. Well, unfortunately for now, we're parting ways with Mr. Ricketts, but he has given us another contact, Louisa. And we're going to be dealing with her, but first, let's get something rather unpleasant out of the way. And that is dealing with, I forget his name now, is it Diaz? De Santa. Yep. Let's go back and sort these guys out. Like I say, we're going to have to do some nasty things. I would have thought, you know, what would have been cool um, in this game would have been if you had a choice. If you could have picked a side between the rebels and the government. Uh, unfortunately, we can't. We just have to let things play out as they will. And that's fine. Um, I mean, one thing, I suppose, getting to do uh, both sets of missions, you do get to see things from both perspectives. And, yeah. The Mexican government is kind of scummy in this game. But, you know, that's governments. Am I right? We should be unlock. Ooh, hello. Just like <laughs> nature's cruel, my friend. What as we trample a dog to death for the funsies? <laughs> oh, John, you are such an underrated character. Anywho, we're almost there. I do need to get. Um, I do need to pick those flowers, don't I? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that off camera because. Yeah, it's not the most entertaining thing, going around picking flowers, like some smelly hippie. I prefer to shoot men, like a smelly cowboy. There we go. I guess everybody's got to have a hobby. Can't all be killing. As long as it's mostly killing. Damn, this is a long ride. we could have quick travel but thing is you never know what's going to happen along the way and today is a very special i'm going to oh god i'm going to date this video now uh the gta 6 trailer dropped today and i've probably watched it about 10 times now Uff. i'm so hyped for that game you know gta vice city was my favorite vice uh GTA game. I loved it. I loved the vibe. I loved the setting. I loved the characters. And obviously, the music was 60% of that game on its own. Um, so to have, you know, go to be going back to Vice City, I am so excited. I hope I'm not dead by the time the game comes out. You know, it's 2025. Probably going to be delayed, let's be honest. But you never know. We'll see what happens. What do you mean come back tomorrow? Fucking serious? Come back tomorrow at 7 a.m.? Lazy bastard. Get his fat ass out of bed. And go do some missions. Good lord. Can we... Is it anywhere to even... Pass the time in here? I guess. Alright, so two naps later. Let's go get this going. The demon drink. No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito, sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablo es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. <laughs> Afrento, México. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? 
Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. But it's on two years. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> They she only a tyrant. That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? <laughs> Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now. Perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, ta, 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 ta. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. Baboso, <sighs> ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. Well, I'll give him some credit. At least he admits he's a piece of shit tyrant. Let's go. So, I guess there's that. But yeah, scum. Not a fan. And he brought these people. Well, his people brought these these so poor people. God. He certainly lives up to oh. his reputation. That's unfortunate. Alright. If he couldn't incriminate himself anymore. Let's go. Now I think this fella's gonna wanna race. Oh I can ride. Oh yep, yep. We gotta race. Let's go. Well, we're gonna blow his little horse away, so that's fine. Do you know, they missed a trick. They should have made him, uh... <laughs> they should have given him a, a donkey. That would have been brilliant. I'm sure you can get a donkey in this game. Uh, we've seen NPCs ride donkeys. I know you can get a donkey in the second game. And it's as hilariously stupid as it sounds. No, we did have a donkey, didn't we? I'm sure we did. I can't remember now. <laughs> I've slept since then couple of times at least. Well, his old Mexican horse is no match for our thoroughbred American war horse. Which, to be fair, obviously would pale in comparison to one of the Queen's finest, but we shall make do with what we have. Wow, oh, doesn't look like much of a fight, looks more of a slaughter. Hmm, what's going on around here? I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Alright. I like murder. 
Search the town for rebels, huh? I look sharp. King's coming. Oh dear. I say, sir. Took his head clean off. Right. Oof. Blew the beans out of him. Cool. Can't help but shake the feeling. We're not on the right side here. But then I remember the right side is always the victor. Because it is the victor that writes history. Um, can we not get stuck? Alright. <laughs> we got stuck with our foot up someone's ass. <laughs> Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> anyway, once more we're feeling. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the repeater. Sure. Hello, sir. Jolly unwise of you. To be perched behind that as you were. Alright. Ooh. That's a rather silly hat you're wearing, sir. And that hat was your undoing. Must write that down in my uh, notebook. Don't wear a silly hat in a gunfight. Okay. Whoop. Come on. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. We're stuck on things again. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Jesus. The movement in this game is kind of heinous. Uh, it's a shame. Ooh. Ooh. You? Now, do you know why he survived for so long behind our lines? Because he wasn't wearing a silly hat. Let's go harvest up some corpses whilst we're here. Has your day truly been good if you haven't been knuckle-deep in a corpse? John doesn't think so. Alright. Ooh, hello. I don't know what they were doing. He's got no chin. He's got no ass. He's got no sternum. And he didn't have a silly hat to protect him. Ooh, evening. You don't look like Santa Claus to me. Off that roof. Alright, I think we're doing alright. Oh, hello. Ooh. Through the nose. Alright, well, let's go uh, fondle these corpses. What can I say, partner? What can you say, partner, indeed? And over your loot, I guess. Well, that's a few corpses searched. I heard the little oars crying in that house over there. <laughs> Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! Yep, so uh, they're going to take all the women back for Allende to uh, have his way with. And then burn down their homes. So now we've killed their men. Yep, I know it's a video game, but... This is not a good story arc. Uh, I, I really wish that we could opt out of this one, but here we go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hard to uh, want to side with the government here. Come back to 
the villa. It's time for some of the new girls before they spoil. Yeah, I'm uh I'm good, pal. Alright. So now we have hey new items. Now we have really seriously committed some atrocities. Uh, we can uh, feel good about ourselves with some retail therapy. Although I'm not going to do any retail therapy just yet. We're going to go back to town. And uh, then we're going to continue this in another video because we're on 26 minutes we're going to keep these videos somewhere between 20 and half an hour if we can just because um although my new internet seems to be okay at the moment at the time of recording anyway i must keep reminding myself that these are going to go up months after the fact um my upload speed still complete anus so 20 minutes to half an hour is the sweet spot anyway thank you very much for watching guys and as always until next time